Hey guys, I'm waiting for some of y'all to get on in here. I know it's late back in the States, but it is only 10 o'clock in the afternoon here in Bali, you guys. And so I wanted to let everybody um get their good lives out. It's been good tea out here on these YouTube streets, but that's not what I came here to talk about. I wanted to talk about day four of Bali. <laughs> um and what's been going on, what's been transpiring and stuff like that. So I'm going to let y'all come on in here. I got one person in here. Oh, no, you did it. Yeah, I did, royalty. I did, I did, I did. Hey, Betty Taylor. Oh, you guys are coming in here pretty quick. Hey, Keisha B. Hey, Val. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Trina. Let me see. Hey, Melinda. How are you? Hey, Felicia. Hey, Jacqueline. Hey, Johnny Jacobs. Hey, Sharon McMillan. Hey, Lucinda. Hello, Speak the Truth. Hey, Gwen. I'm doing okay. Yeah. That's how I feel. Hey, Gloria. Hey, Lakeisha. Hey, the other Lakeisha. Y'all came in here back to back with it. Hey. Hey, Marcella. Hey, that's so Ari. How are you, love? Oh, beautiful. Be careful, sweetheart. I'm finna tell y'all the full story. Hey, Four Leaf Clover. Yes, make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure y'all get y'all memberships and super stickers. All that. Okay. Hey, Diamond D. Hey, Katina. Hold on, you guys. I think they're here with my luggage. Ankle hurt. Hi. Yes, thank you. Y'all look, they bought me some ice. Okay. Let me sit down. Hey, Mary. Hope you're having a wonderful time. Yeah, I'm having too much fun, Mary. <laughs> Way too much fun. Hey, classy lady. Hey, Riri. Hey, Douglas B. Yes, we are having a good time, you guys. Hey, Miss Faye Kelly. She says, hey, Daddy the Champ. Hope you are enjoying your trip. Much love, y'all. I've been having too much fun, y'all. I done got my my um twist all nappy from dumping them in the in the Bali Ocean when we went out to the beach the other day. I was having a good old good old time, and I still am. Hey, Caleb's creation, God's peace, and the hugs and prayers for complete healing. Thank you. Hey, Miss Trina Green. Hi, my oh, Lakeisha says hi, my boo Diamond D. Hey, Mary Weekly. Hey, Lawanda. Did they be careful? You have a great situation to attend. Right, Betty. <laughs> yes, membership badges are available now. Make sure you get you one, okay? Hey, Axe Granny, what time is it here? It is 10.58, almost 11 o'clock in the afternoon, you guys. Um, so it's really early here. And um, for the past, like, two, I'll say we got here two days ago. But I've been in, in Nana's room because my room wasn't ready yet. But I like um, Nana's room. Her room got a nice uh, patio overview of the pool and everything. I like my room, too, and I'm about to show y'all my room it's in just a second. I wanted to tell y'all um, what I what was transpiring and what I had going on. Because right now, they at the waterfalls, and I wanted to go so bad. But I am over here limping. I got an ankle brace on. So first, I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to give y'all a room tour, okay? And then I'm going to go into the story. Yeah, I got to stay safe, Axe Granny, for sure, 100%. Thank you, Tina, for becoming a new member. Shout out to my girl, Tina. <laughs> hey, Toy. Hey, Solo Dolo. Okay, so let me do this. Y'all won't get the room number. Let's see. Without showing which room I'm in. Okay, so this is the door. This is what it looks like when you first open the door. They got the pretty pictures on the wall. Got this area, nice big old bed. And then before I take y'all out on the balcony, I want to show y'all this bathroom real quick because I'm about to get in this tub. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to have them come up here and clean it so I can get in it and soak my ankle. This is the mirror. Ooh. 
And this is the bathroom, y'all. I love these sinks. When I finally build my house, I want to um, do my sink like this. And then there's the toilet. But this is what really got me, y'all. This is what got me, honey. This bathtub. I'm going to call and see if they can fill it up with flowers. And this is the shower. See if they can fill it up with flowers and I can take some cute pictures. And then we go back this way. Of course, they got the TV in here. They got the desk with the coffee stuff, tea, whatever you want to drink. They got the menus for room service. They just bought me this ice so I could ice my ankle. So let me show y'all the, the balcony. Everybody rooms got balconies on them, you guys, which is dope. So we got a couple chairs out here. And this is what it looks like. And... In Bali, now, this hotel is a little different from the other one. There goes the pool. And there's two pools here, you guys. It's one up, up where I'm at, and it's one towards where everybody else is at. So um, I love my room. I love this resort. I think the guy who put this retreat together, he did a great job at picking resorts that were kind of upscale and nice. Um, it, this um, resort is actually my favorite though because it, it reminds me of like a tropical island or like we're in the rainforest or something. So I really, really like it, y'all, a whole lot. That's beautiful. Thank you. Hey, yo, yo. It's pretty. I love that view. Yeah, I got to show y'all. Um, I think Nana has showed y'all or she's recording content to upload. So y'all just be. On the lookout for that, Nana Room, Chef's Kiss. It overlooked the um, pool area or whatever. Hey, Dede, all take care of that ankle and stay safe. I am, love. Hey, Dede, happy to see you. Happy to see you too, April. And when I tell y'all it is so freaking hot, I'm sweating right now. <laughs> That's why I came back in here. The air conditioning is blowing. It's going crazy. So I got to um, stay where it's cool. Hey, Daddy and Chad, what up, though? What's poppin', Jersey girl? Hey, Brittany girl. I was just listening to your live cracking the hell up because you are fucking hilarious. And y'all been having YouTube jumping. <laughs> y'all been having YouTube so lit. I've been missing out on all of the good stuff. But um, today I was able to catch up on some of the content. And I will say I have been thoroughly entertained. Hey, Tina girl, let me go down. I'm going to read some of y'all comments, and then I'll get into the story of what happened. Uh, let me see. Hide that comment. That's beautiful. Very nice. Beautiful. Hit the like button, everybody. Yes. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Thank you, for Leaf Clover, for being a member for 10 months. You said peace and tranquility. That's the vibes it gives, y'all. It's so peaceful out here. It's so beautiful. It's like the whole resort is surrounded by trees and nature and the forest. Like, and they always say when you are in nature, nature has healing elements. And um, and I think the Bali Balinese people are onto something when they put all of these trees and all of these rainforests. You could you know how in America we'll tear something down to just to build up buildings, a mall, a store, anything like that. You know, we'll um tear the stuff down to build buildings to make money. That's like the life of capitalism. But the people out here in Bali, they they love the nature. They respect the nature. They respect their animals. When I tell y'all, it's nothing but wild monkeys everywhere in Bali. Nothing but wild monkeys. That's what's up, Day. Love the view. Thank you. Um, let me go. Let me go down. Let me see. Hey, so love. Day, day that sister rink is popping. Mm -hmm. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> hey, love chop. So, okay, y'all. So, we went on a hike yesterday. Um, I forgot what the, the mountain was called. Or it was a volcano. I forgot what it was called. But um, it was a volcano. And we was hiking up it. They, they like to do this all the time. So, that wasn't part of our itinerary. So, I'm like, okay. I think I'll be good. I could go on this hike. Whatever. I've done hikes before with my sister. We went and seen waterfalls when we traveled together. So, I'm down for it, right? Now, it's other black people here that was like, no, nah, I'm not going, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that, which I probably should have been the same way, because at first I was saying, no, nah, I don't want to do no hike, but then um, I was just like, you know what, I want to see the top of the, 
of the uh, volcano because I heard it's really beautiful. And it's like the journey going up the mountain. I don't know. It's like really spiritual. That's what they were saying. And, and I felt that once we got up to the top, it was a lot of emotions running through everybody that's at the res resort and all of that. So um, it was definitely everything that they said it would be, right? So we get there. It's 2 o'clock in the morning because we wanted to see the um, the sun, the sunrise. Hey, Tater. I love that sink and tub day. Yeah, me too. It's really nice. Thank you, Sonya Johnson, for becoming a new member. Them damn monkeys, yeah, they everywhere, April. <laughs> Christine says, hi, Dante. I hope you are all having a great time. Yes, I am. I'm having a good time. Day, did you go to see the rice fields? We were supposed to be doing that tomorrow, Rita, so I'll keep you posted with that. Thank you, Christine, for becoming a member. I'm glad you guys are enjoying. Yes, and we're going to a club tonight. I told them I'm not missing that. I'm not missing the club. <laughs> so we get to the um to the hiking area, right? And it's two o'clock in the morning. It took us two hours to get there. So we was up early on our way. It's pitch black, super dark outside. Shout out to all 101 of y'all in the chat. So we get there and they have this area set up where they will give you, I guess, their version of pancakes or like a crepe with um chocolate and and honey and those different things because they knew when people go up that hike it's really challenging and people would be hungry you don't want people to go up there hungry because it could be a possibility that you know it'll throw them off their game or whatever the case may be so we all was sitting there like drinking coffee and um and eating a little crepes or whatever i didn't like my crepe because i'm a texture person so i didn't eat at all once we got there um, I, I had a little bit of it and then I gave my crepe to another girl that's at, here at the retreat because she loved it. So I'm like, here, you can have mine. I don't want it no more. Um, and I didn't drink any coffee either because their coffee is strong. They don't really put a lot of sugar in their stuff at all, like damn near period. So the coffee was just really, really strong and I didn't want no strong coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker like that anyways. So we were chilling. I had my water. So we ate for like a good 30 minutes. We was taking pictures. I got videos, y'all, so I will be uploading those. Um, we had our little flashlights on our heads and stuff like that. So we start walking and we had guides. We had like three different guides because we were a big group. It was about 17 to 20 of us on this hike. And um, every group that comes together, they get a guide to go up the uh, volcano, right? So we start going up or whatever. And um, at first it was flat because it was like a little bit of a stretch before we got to the rocky part. So I'm going. I'm chugging along. I'm chugging along, trying to keep up, trying to make sure, you know, that I don't get left behind, which the guy that I had was an angel, you guys. His name was Puka or Putu, something like that. He was an angel. He helped me the entire time. I had my jacket. I had my water. I had my purse. He put all of my stuff in his backpack while we were going up the mountain. Um, hit the like button and share the live. Yes, thank you, Ray Mary. Thank you, uh, Roy Tequay, for being a member for nine months, boo. Hey, Dion. Hey, Juicy Fruit. Let me go up and see. Yeah, in the same zone, been a member for nine months. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Trina been a member for uh, four months. Shout out to you. <laughs> Shout out to all the members. Hey, Leo Grandma. So I'm chucking along. I'm... I'm making it burly, but I'm making it, right? <laughs> so when I started getting tired, because it was like a two-mile stretch before we even got to the volcano. So I started getting tired. I'm like, you know what? Mm -mm. I don't want to do this. So how it works out here in Bali is the people are some cohort hustlers, right? They will have their kids out there selling stuff. They will get out there selling stuff. And the guys are the ones who was riding the moped. So they was using their mopeds as little taxis to take people to the top. I think in US money, it's like $20, but um, in their money, Rupia, it was like 350,000 converts to 20,000 in US money. Hey, Peaches, Plats and Life teens, how are you? So um, I, I gave them the $20. And um, I hopped on me a moped, honey. <laughs> I was like, uh-uh, I cannot do this. And if I want to see the top, I'm going to have to cheat a little bit. So that's what I did. 
So I hopped on the back of this guy's moped and he was really cool. He got me up to like the halfway point because at a certain point they can't take you all the way up them rocks on a moped. Like it's just physically impossible. So I sat and I chilled. When we were on our way up, I, we passed the whole group and Majane was right at the front, which had me cracking up because Majane loved to be in the front, especially when it's something like where she's working out or she's doing a hike. She want to keep up with everybody and she want to lead the pack. I said, fuck this. I'm going to go get on me a moped. <laughs> Y'all can have this shit. <laughs> I'm not with it. I am not with it, baby. So uh, <laughs> when I got to the point where they was dropping everybody off that was getting on the mopeds, they had this little center where they were selling food, they were selling water. You had the um, the Balinesian women walking around with their um, baskets full of snacks, water, whatever it is that you could think of so that they could sell their products, which I will always say, the last time we were in New York for the meet and greet, I was feeling like, oh, New Yorkers is some cold hard hustlers, no. New Yorkers don't got nothing on the people in Bali, okay? Don't got nothing on them, okay? Nothing. I was trying to um get it going. Hey, Pierre, Bike Life TV, how are you? Classy Lady says I would have been on there from, <laughs> from the start. Listen, I was trying, Classy Lady. I was pushing myself, and I pushed myself as far as I could go, and then I hopped on in the back of the moped, and I was like, all right, I'll see y'all at the midway point, okay? <laughs> so... Um, the guy dropped me off in that area. I was sitting there waiting for my group. And one of the ladies who was selling candy and water and all of that type of stuff, she was going to lead us up the hill because she was like, oh, you guys don't have time to wait for your group. It's, it's going to take too long and stuff like that. And the sun had set at 620. At that point, I think it was like 519, 520, I'll say, or maybe five o'clock. And then once we started walking up the mountain, it, it started getting um a little bit later. So <laughs> let me read some of y'all stuff and then I'm gonna go into this next part. Christine, don't be laughing at me. They said, forget this, y'all <laughs> right. Y'all could box these rocks. And the rocks fucked up my ankle, Miss Betty. I'm gonna tell y'all about it. <laughs> they know how to make money. Mm-hmm. That would be me. Yeah, Juicy Fruit, that was me. Holding on to the back like, deuces, see y'all later. So the lady who was selling the candy, she's not even a guide, but she was going to guide us up the mountain, the people that was sitting up there waiting for their group or whatever. She said we wouldn't have time to wait or whatever. So we started to go up the mountain, y'all, and I get so scared because, for one, these mountains are, like, literally the edge of the mountains, like one bad slip and I could fall off this goddamn cliff. So I was scared and it's dark and um, they gave us these little flashlights, but I'm like, listen, it's humid. My glasses is fogging. I got this little ass light. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to make it up this damn uh, volcano alive. Okay. Um, without a bruise <laughs> because I cannot see. So the lady starts to lead us up the mountain and I slip, but I didn't mess up my ankle that time. And I said, oh no, fuck this. I turned back around. <laughs> I turned my ass back around and she was like, where are you going? I said, I'm going back around. I'm sorry. I'm not going to let you or nobody else push me to go up this mountain when I know myself better than anybody else knows me. I'm scared because we in these mountains climbing up this damn volcano. <laughs> it's dark at the same time. And I, I'm visually impaired. Lady, you see how thick my glasses is? I can't see. It's hot. It's humid. So I'm just like, you know what? Forget it. I'm going back down. So I start going back down. The, the slip is what scared me, y'all. Uh, hey, Denise says, hey, Dan, Chad, glad you're enjoying yourself. Yes, I'm having a ball out here, y'all. K loves Craig. It says, that's sad energy. We'd be like, I'm just getting up there to make sure everything is all right for everybody. Right? <laughs> oh, no, that wouldn't be for me. Um, walking up the mountain in the dark. In the dark. In the dark, Riri. We left at 2 o'clock in the morning. We got there at like 3 or 4. We started going up the mountain around 5. It's still dark as hell, y'all, outside. So I was a little nervous. So um, I started walking back down. I said, no, -uh, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Who see me? Who don't like it? Who got a, I'm not going up this damn mountain. So as soon as I get to the bottom of where we started walking up the mountain, I see my group. The people in my group was like, what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> I'm 
like, man, I'm going to go back down. I'm not doing this shit. Like, it's too dark. I'm scared, y'all. And they was like, no, come on. It's okay. Like, we're going to make it through. And then the God, you guys, was so sweet. The God that we had in my group, the guy who was um taking my backpack, he held my water for me. He was doing everything for me, y'all. And he was like... 55 to 60 years old and he was in such good shape and looked so youthful right so he was like it's okay i will hold your hand the whole time so i'm like oh i gave in the peer pressure and i went anyways um but i'm happy that i completed it so the whole time we're going up this mountain the rocky part for a good 30 minutes y'all 30 minutes where i'm having to step over rocks step over thick ass tree branches that's sticking out of the grass or sticking out of the volcano it, it was just it was a lot um but putu helped me the entire time y'all he just held my hand hold on y'all give me a second hi thank you i know what's happening i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. My bag heavy. He was like, "Shay, what you got up in here, girl? A whole bunch of, a whole lot of stuff." So, um, he held my hand the whole time, and I ended up making it to the top without a scratch. Right. So I was proud of myself for that, and uh, Putu was really nice because even when I was taking my breaks. And I was like, oh, my leg is cramping. I sat down. He was massaging my leg for me. Um, so he was really, really helping me the entire time. I'm like, oh, my God, you are such an angel. So uh, we get to the top. It was beautiful. I got a bunch of pictures. I know y'all seen the one picture that I posted on my community wall, but it's so many more pictures from where that came from. So I'm going to show y'all exactly what it looked like. Um, did I have my phone? I did have my phone, but it was dead. But everybody that was with us on this retreat got different videos or whatever. So I will be posting those and showing y'all those videos. So once we got to the top, it was cool. We was chilling. It was a vibe. We was up there for like two hours, just watching the sunrise. They was out there passing out bread and eggs. I didn't want neither because I'm like, my um, stomach is going to be hurting, bubbling. I already feel like I'm walking up this hill <laughs> and my um, stomach is a little, you know how you work out and then it make you have to go use the bathroom? That's how I was feeling already. So I'm like, I definitely don't want nothing else that's going to have my stomach bubbling. So um, not eating that. And then once we got to the top, they had the station with like coffee, chips, all these different things you could buy. And then all of the women were up there with their bracelets. People were selling their different items. Um, they was like really pushing real hard for us to buy stuff. Um, I bought me a bracelet. My Janae bought her and Kaya bracelet. So we was just up there chilling. And in our group, it was crazy because the, the guy who put this retreat together, he was saying like, once you get up to that top, you are going to feel so like vindicated because it was a long journey getting up there. Uh, Dave, that was a stunning pic of you with your glasses off. Yes. Yes, honey. That was at the top of the volcano. <laughs> I love that picture. I love it. I love it. I love it. And my homegirl Liz took that picture. She a good photographer. So I'm just like, he, so he was saying all of that or whatever, right? So I'm like, okay, we'll see when we get up there or whatever. When I tell y'all, like, one person got up there and was crying about, like, just different situations because it was this lady, right? She was a... a an older white lady who was here with us on the retreat and she was struggling up the mountain as well. Like when we all got up there, we all started telling our stories of how we struggled to get up the mountain. And so she said she didn't have a guide or anything. She was really having a hard time to where she started breaking down, crying while she was on the hike, but she wanted to make it to the top. So she was like, you know what? I just, I just asked my brother because her brother passed away, you guys. Um, I think like six months ago. She was like, brother, please send me some help. Send me some help to get up this mountain. Y'all, why a 13-year-old little girl came and guided her up the mountain? The little girl said, I'm gonna help you up this mountain. Literally. After she asked her brother out loud to send her some help, send her some guidance, because 
she was struggling getting up there. And I was just like, dang, that's crazy. Like, it's so profound. And, and, and it's crazy, too, because I feel like Myron knew that it would be a struggle for me getting up that mountain. And everybody was a little bit worried about me getting up that mountain, too. But Myron... Putu sat there the whole time and helped me out. Like when I tell y'all he did not let my hand go, he did not let my hand go. When I needed to take a break, I took a break. If my leg was cramping, he massaged it. He was just the angel. So I feel like I had got help sent to me as well. So when we got to the top, she was just telling her story about what happened to her brother, what personal struggles she went through in her life. And we all just started talking about different things that we face. Um, a lot of us had lost siblings and people was up there crying. I even shed a tear because I'm just like, that's crazy um, how everybody is getting to the top of this mountain and everybody's feeling so emotional. Um, so it was definitely healing and it was very spiritual. Hey, Charlotte, uh, you didn't give up. That's what counts. Proud of you, sweetie. Yeah, I'm proud of myself too, Christine. Uh, freak that. They would have to carry my fat ass. <laughs> speak the truth. It wasn't carrying nobody up the mountains, girl. When I tell you, like, the paths were so narrow and they were so on the edge, y'all. I was scared. I was scared. But I, I ended up conquering my fears and I got up there, honey. I got up that mountain. So we sat up there. We took our pictures. We was taking our videos. We're sitting there having, like, you know, group discussions, talk, telling our stories and all of that. Yeah, only God bought me up that mountain, Shasha. God is real and amazing and always there all the time. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that was amazing. So she had a testimony when she got to the top of that mountain because she was scared, y'all. Sounds mind-blowing. Awesome. Yeah, it was. It was great. So after we did all that and we was just up there talking or whatever, um, we started to head back once the sun came up. So I felt better with that because I'm like, at least we're going down and I'm not in the dark, you know? Hey, Dave Maz and Chad. Hey, Katrina Whitaker. Um, yeah, it was only God that brought all of us up there too. And um, when I came down, I'm like, okay, it's light outside. Putu right here. He didn't leave my side the whole time. So I'm good. I, I, I could get down this mountain while it's light time. So... I'm going down the mountain, and at certain parts, it started to get a little slippery because people was, like, riding they, they mopeds and all of that type of stuff, and it was just dirt, and the moist air was making the dirt wet. So I was just like, oh, my God, I, I just want to make sure that I make it down this mountain alive because these, these cliffs is scaring me. So we're going down. It was, like, a good 30 to 40-minute walk down the mountain, y'all, and Honestly, everybody was helping me. I ain't gonna lie. Like this one lady, and I absolutely love her. Her name is Drea. She's in our group. She was, I was sliding a little bit and stuff. And you know, Putu had to help other people. So he was helping other people in between time. But majority of the time he was helping me down the hill. So at one point I, I was walking by myself and I was like kind of slipping a little bit. And the, and the lady that's in my group, she grabbed my hand. And the whole time she was holding my hand, y'all, she was sitting there singing gospel music. Gospel music, y'all. She had her AirPod, her earphones in and she was just singing all different type of gospel music. It was beautiful. I'm like, dang, this is crazy. Like I got all this help around me. The group that we came with is very helpful. The people is just good energy, good vibes. It was a good, good experience. So I get close, y'all. We a good 20 minutes away from being towards the bottom. At this point, I felt like I got it because we were starting to get more on level ground. And so I'm like, okay, you don't have to hold my hand anymore, Putsu. Like, you don't got to babysit me. I can do it. So I'm walking. Do, 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 do. Boom. I trip. I trip on a, um, a branch. It was like a thick-ass branch. It was sticking out of the ground. I didn't even see it because I wasn't paying no attention to it. Oh, my mama just went live. All right, y'all. I'm going um, to finish my story, and then I'm y'all go over there to my mama, okay? So, um, and matter of fact, let me show y'all what my ankle is looking like, actually. <laughs> so, I got this ankle brace on. The lady in my group was kind enough to give it to me. So, I tripped. 
I fell and Putsu was sitting there massaging my leg, helping my leg feel better, helping my ankle or whatever. And I was just crying, bawling my eyes out, right? And so he called a guy on the moped to help me down the rest of the way. So I got on the moped and we got down there and the whole rest of the group was waiting for us. It was like the last group um, within our retreat that was at the mountain trying to get down. Um, and so once I got down there, everybody was helping me y'all like when i tell y'all everybody ran to my rescue it was just like these people are beautiful people and these are the type of people that i want to have in my group so i get down there they helping me like get off the bike they helping me get to the seat they helped me prop my leg up and another lady who was in my group she's older she wore her ankle brace because she knew that um her her ankle was already hurting before she went on the hike, but she was going to make it up the hike. So she wrapped her leg real hard and she put on her ankle brace and she made it up there. So when I get down there, she took her ankle brace off and gave it to me. She was like, here, put this on. She like put it on for me. She was like, this is going to stop the swelling. This is going to like kind of take down the pain a little bit from your ankle hurting. So that's what we did. So then we got in the van. We went back to the hotel. I stayed in the room for the rest of the night because I'm like, listen, I just want my foot to feel better. Hopefully by tomorrow or the next day to where I can participate in more activities with y'all. Um, my ankle still hurt to this day, but the 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 ankle wrap did help. Uh, Juicy Fruit, I'm scared of high hats off today. I couldn't have done it. Yeah, it was it was a lot. Oh, be careful. Yeah, I am. I, I ain't doing no, nothing else like that. She probably dog walking somebody. You already know it. Just keep soaking it and wrapping it. Yeah, that's why they um, bought me some ice. I'm about to use one of these trash bags they got sitting in this room and um, put some ice in it and ice my ankle and, you know, elevate it. So once we got back to the room, I was chilling. Um, they had went out and was doing other stuff. They had game night, which I was mad because I missed that part. Uh, but it was okay. And then the next day, the girl Liz, who I'm really close with, she's a Sagittarius too, y'all. Her birthday is November 28th. She was just texting my phone like, are you okay? Like, we haven't seen you today. And I just wanted to check up on you. I want to know how your ankle feels. Da -da -da. And I'm like, I'm all right. Like, you know, I I'm a big girl. I could deal with it. I ain't take no Advil or nothing, y'all. Even till this moment, I ain't had no Advil. And when I tell y'all, like, an ankle sprain, it does hurt, but I have a high tolerance. I just felt like I had a burning sensation going through my toe. Um, I wasn't able to move it for a little bit, but after a while I was able to move it and the pain that was shooting through my foot subsided or whatever. But when I tell y'all my shit was throbbing, I was like, I've never, ever, 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 ever sprained no ankles. I ain't never um, bruised myself. Like I got bruises and stuff, but I've never torn anything, broke anything, sprained anything. So it was a new experience for me, honestly. You busy living life like we all should do. For sure. Feel better today. Thank you. And, you know, I'm feeling better, you guys. I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all the story of what happened. So today I get up and I move around. I went to go get breakfast and I seen some of the ladies downstairs and I sat and I ate breakfast with them. I came back to the room um, where the restaurant is seated, seated um, at the resort. It's like walking down the hill. So walking back up the hill kind of made my ankle hurt a little bit. So now I'm chilling. They went to the waterfalls. I did want to do that, but I'm like, I'm not going to overexert myself. I want my body to um, I at least want to be okay. Um, and I did tell them that I was going to see them later because other people would hit me up in a group and was like, oh, we miss you. Like, where are you at? Da -da -da. And I'm just like, y'all, I'm trying to heal my ankle, honey. Hey, Jackie. Thank you, Lakeisha. That's nice of her. There are still good people out here. Amen to that. Absolutely. When I tell you every single person that came on this retreat is a good person, has a kind soul, and is like-minded, every single one of them. And that's why I feel like... I don't know. I'll come on here and explain my feelings after, you know, we go through the whole process of because this whole trip was about spiritual healing and cleansing and all of that type of stuff and spread love and all of that. So I'll get on here and I'll tell y'all my experience um, once it's done as far as like how healing it is and how spiritual the trip was. 
I'll, I'll get on here and say that. But um, thank y'all for coming and chilling with me. I want to hear what my mama got to say. And I'm sure y'all want to hear what my mama got to say. Be careful the rest of the trip. I am classy lady. So I love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. If you don't got a membership, please go purchase your memberships now. You know, it helps me. It helps support this channel. If you uh, got it, a, a super sticker to send, go ahead and send one. And um, I will tune in and catch y'all later. Um, I will come live tomorrow at around 5 o'clock our time because at that time it'll be morning for y'all you know because i know right now it's late but y'all have a good night deuces